everyone welcome back to Casey camp today going offshore out of the inlet again it's about 6 30 right now just got loaded up with a bunch of mullet we're about to head that way pretty nice morning out here so hopefully it goes down the way we always plan for it to and catch a lot of fish so I will see you guys in a little bit when we get fishing
My camera, the phone, or got the GoPro here. Yep. The giant sail we got. Big old beautiful fish. I'm gonna turn them loose. I'm gonna snap a picture with the phone real quick and get back on the fishing. Cool. Alright, just gonna revive them for a minute before we release them. Pop the boat in here, try and get some. Water flowing through the field is pretty good. Looks like he's kicking his tail up. He's ready to go. I think he's ready to go. So, buddy, till next time. See you later, bud. Down to the deep. Yeah. Woo! Sick. That was a long fight. Woo, woo. That says 40 minutes. How there. you feeling now? Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to go to the who gym. Needs to go to the gym. That's what I'm saying. Who needs to go to the gym? Nobody. All right, just got situated, new leader tied on, and we're back out. So we end up hooking up to another fish. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but it was something big. Ripped some drag for a minute, um, and then it got wrapped under something under the bottom so we ended up pulling the boat up over the line the line was straight down and i could see the flash of a fish underwater out about 20 to 30 feet in front of the boat so i don't know if a grouper would come to the surface and smack a bait and shoot down under a ledge or a structure or what happened but we'll never know what that fish was fought it for like an hour maybe over an hour handing the rod back and forth All right, well, we got super hot, as you can tell. Put that bimini up. Tried some bottom out for a little bit. Had a few break-offs. Pretty certain I had a grouper take me under a ledge and break me off. And then a couple other fish that came off, got robbed a couple times and got over it. It's too hot. We had to move, get some breeze. So, uh, yeah, that big whatever we were fighting forever it almost seemed like it got wrapped under something it was just sitting in one spot forever couldn't get it to come to the surface and ended up breaking off so now we're heading out we're in 60 61 foot right now heading due east and we'll see you when we get down So we trolled for a while and ended up missing a few fish. Some One broke the leader, um, a couple short strikes, and then one hook pull, I think, and then this fish. Can you grab this?
Barracuda. <clears throat> lost another fish. We lost a bunch of fish today, but that's fishing. That happens sometimes. So, got one dolphin to bring home, and that's it. Water's super hot out here. It's like 85 degrees. Sucks. Found some little bit cooler water and had some fish hitting. Had one break a leader, one popped off. I think there was some nice dolphin. Caught the tail end of some jumps and then they came off. But that's it for this video. So I'm probably gonna add this one to another video of king fishing and put it together for you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Casey Camp. Just trolling some live baits outside of Sebastian Limo right now. So we've had three, four encounters with fish now. Not one in the boat yet. We're gonna go to a little concert at Captain Hiram's. But we're gonna catch a fish first. So I'll see catch. you when we get bent. Brandon just got hooked up. Pretty sure it's a nice kingfish. Just don't pull too hard on them. Just squeeze them in. Reel in a couple of lines real quick. down Bastion Inlet, just fishing the color change. Anyone can do this. Yeah, he's gonna do a circle under the boat, and when he comes back around, you should be able to gain on him. There you see him. It's a nice fish. Try and stick this in here. Oh, that's a nice fish. Real nice one. Take our time. Good. All right. First one. We got, in the boat. got a couple more hours to get a. We got some smoke fish dip. We might be just doing a catch clean cook of some smoke kingfish on this video. Beauty. So uh, that might be the main portion of the video. We're gonna try and catch a couple more, but we're gonna try and make it to a little reggae show at Captain Harms today. So 
We're gonna get a couple more baits out, troll for a little bit longer, and if we get one more fish, we'll probably just go to the show and then do a catch clean cook or something for this video anyway. This is Casey Camp. This channel is gonna be packed full of outdoors, like hunting, fishing, everything, you name it, Florida Outdoors. So if you're a Florida Outdoorsman, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to this channel. It's not gonna be just fishing, it's a little bit of everything, and I love to cook too. So go ahead and subscribe right now, and I will see you when we get bent again. You. So this is it, the slow trolling baits. Idle speed, as slow as your boat will go, live mullet. A little bouncy out here right now. Not too bad though. Alright, just got hooked up. This one screamed the drag pretty good. Another fish, we just missed one, didn't get that on camera. Hopefully this one comes in the boat too. Feels like a decent fish. We go ahead and neutral. No, no. Uh, 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 yeah, the wind's blowing against us. It'll just blow us into the lines. Fished it. Motor off and trim it up. Actually, no, reel in those lines real quick. Right. Yeah, just Go. Got the motor off, got a fishing boat, We're taking a little water in the back right now. 
gotta get this hook out. It wrapped around the motor, so. Ah, got me. Got me a little bit. This teeth are sharp. Gotta wash them. Another fish. All right. backbone to the spine and then flip the fish over from the tail up to the head same thing along that fin line my knife's a little bit dull if you want to give me a sharp knife just send me one that'd be real neat right here down to the belly now we're down to the backbone there you can hear it see you got the nice bones there now we're going to angle the knife up just a bit to get over that spine and then right through here you got pin bones so just crush right through those and then work right along the rib cage and down the bottom side of the backbone like so and there's our fillet of kingfish and then to portion this up for the smoker I usually just get rid of that little piece there save a little chunk about that size and then cut out the bloodline here work along here's your pin bones right here work down the edge of them pin bones and once you get down to the bottom of the pin bones angle your knife once you start working down to get that bloodline out I'm gonna flip it over this way because it's easier for me right-handed slightly angling that way and then I'll flip this side back over and slightly angle it the opposite direction get this belly skin out real quick this is just the lining of the belly so I'm going to trim that out real quick chop that off that's trash fillet chunk chunk bam 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 <laughs> messed up um, I didn't take any video of me taking the smoked fish off the smoke or anything like that and I've already started pulling it apart so um, yeah what I do is I just take all the fish out of the smoker peel the skin off throw it in this pot and then I just tear it apart by hand just break it apart make it all nice and fluffy and I'm about to cut up some veggies and add those to it and throw it in. So, here we go. A few small bell peppers, some serrano peppers. I'll use a little bit of habanero, Italian parsley, and green onions. I'm gonna get the chopping. I got it to the consistency I want it. I like it about like that. And I don't use a blender because I don't like it turning into a paste. I like it to be a little bit more meaty. So, 
This is it. Now you can basically put that on a cracker, dude. That's all you need right there. Mmm. That's money. <laughs> Telling me I could live off this stuff. Mmm. So, y'all about ready for deer season or what? Or even better, are you ready for lobster season? Because that's in a few days. Mini season is going to go off. Hope y'all are ready for deer season as well. If you are ready for deer season and ready to see some deer hunting videos, give this video a thumbs up or give me a comment. Woo, buddy. About to get some of those real soon now. Oh, boy. Gotta love it. There's a few deer in this house. So, um, if y'all are hunters, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe to my channel. All these bucks I'm showing you right now are Florida bucks from public land. There's some smaller ones down here. I got a mess of rods and a turkey and everything here, but there's probably 15 smaller bucks there, 15, 20 smaller bucks in that pile. But yeah, so uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're a Florida outdoorsman, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. And if you're not, and this is your first time watching this video, and you might know somebody that might like watching these videos, please share it with them. Um, trying to build the channel up right now. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm putting money into making these videos for you guys. So I need to get as many subscribers as I can. So go ahead and spread the word for me, please. Please, please, please. I really need that. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in to Casey Camp, and I will see y'all on the next one. Be safe out there.